it's your buddy Peace and Harmony here with you here today. Stay calm and heal. That is going to be the focus of this video. Today's world is so hectic. We're bombarded uh, by information, by noise, by demands, by materials, uh, materialism, consumerism, more information, more data flying at rapid speed. It can be very hectic and you really do need the tools to handle a lot of this uh, and manage a lot of this information speed and really what's becoming, you know, what seems like a very hostile world. I do not subscribe to uh, a lot of the hostile media. I don't follow all the bantering. Um, I don't feel, you know, that is where my attention belongs. I, be I believe in focusing on something more productive down at my, you know, at, at, at the level at which I am, I am focusing, which is trying to do, uh, do good and serve others who are in need, and we can have, you know, and share a, a community, share and create uh, positive communications, actually solutions. Either you're part of the problem or you're part of the solution, and it's my intention and my viewpoint and lifestyle to live in the solution. And one great transition that has helped me is learning to find the value in being calm. Uh, being calm is not highly um, advertised. It is not highly uh, promoted. It is not highly discussed in school, in families, um, in, in, in media. I mean, if, you, if you're not on you know, managing some, you know, Facebook account. I mean, it just, it, it, it really blows my mind, you know, the amount of time that people are able to just communicate in very short snippets on, on Facebook, rather than having conversations and discussions and learning about um, people on a, you know, on a, on a direct basis, um, you know, or learning to help themselves. Um, I think that a lot of the social media is fostering a lot of the narcissism and it's a, a playground for somebody, someone who's a predator, a uh, sexual predator, uh, such as a, a psychopath. Uh, I think that they thrive in this sort of situation. So um, enough about that, but um, you know, the value of learning to be calm, how to get calm, how to calm into your body. If you were raised in a critical family, um, a divorced family where there was a lot of stress, chaos, violence, things were unpredictable. Um, you never probably really got a chance to feel very calm. Um, you know, if you're, if you're rushed to various activities, uh, maybe uh, the church was more the center of your family. That has a great huge... Hey, Bob! Hey, oh, I say hey! Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, so the creating that sort of environment was is a, a very it lays the foundation <laughs> to um, you know what we really um, experience as adults and you know the pressure becomes internalized and as we become adults we we find what what kind of um, you know pressure serves us and what kind of uh, motivation does not serve us and the focus of this video is learning how to be calm now it's just a cute couple uh, taking a walk here um, by a riverway. Now, you know, you, you have to fill yourself with positive images, positive feelings, positive sounds. Um, getting away from all the, you know, uh, traffic. I mean, my Lord, um, you know, all, all this sort of uh, aggressive people, um, you know, the constant need to live in a, a state of discontent is not very positive. Um, it's not very good for the body. So learning to become calm is a very powerful tool. Um, you know, some people who grew up with the church, as we were saying, you know, or maybe they had a real strong family connection. Their families are very close. They can, uh, they, they're very comfortable with each other. There's a, a family bond. There's a family intimacy. Um, lessons are taught. Lessons are learned. There's a sharing, there's a mutual contribution, there's a, a collaboration, you know, it's, and that's a very um, idyllic sort
sort of environment to grow up in. And likewise, as an adult, to be able to create that sort of environment for yourself. However, a lot of families, uh, maybe where there was a narcissistic or psychopathic parent, um, where one was pitting one against the other, uh, children were not heard out, children were ignored, children were not taken care of, children were, you know, they, they were the, uh, you know, less than the parents. Um, I know child rearing has definitely changed as of nowadays, but oftentimes in those family units, um, those, you know, there's quite a bit of um, competition that's actually created within the family. And constantly living to uh, compete is not always the answer. You have to find a sense of calm. So taking a step back, getting out of the rat race, getting out of the race, you know, out of the uh, fast lane, and pulling over, slowing down, and then just stopping and taking a moment to take in nature. I find nature to be very therapeutic. Um, you know, if you can just sit in nature. Um, nature is very calming if you can just observe and it gets your body to retune to the natural environment, which is opposed to a lot of the aggression, hostility, and things that surround us in uh, much of the news that we see on a daily basis, at our jobs, and even in our families. I mean, as I say, you know, you have to get away for a little bit. I'm definitely encouraging that as a way to reset your uh, your biology a little bit, getting into nature, um, returning to the innocence. There is an innocence within people, a, a connection to nature. You know, they say getting high on nature. Um, it's coming to a sense of balance and normalcy, and it helps you purge um, your your physicality, your mind, your emotional body and your spirit of a lot of this excessive noise and mixed messages. And it helps you tune in and calm down, calm down within your body. Um, you almost, you have to actively seek out calm. You have to actively schedule time in your in your day for calm. For some people who you know maybe don't have a job or who don't have a family or who don't have a relationship, maybe it's easy for you. Um, for those of you with busy, hectic schedules, I would definitely recommend uh, finding a sense of calm in your day um, and taking a day, you know, a couple days during the week to get even longer periods of calm in your life. That can help you to reset your, uh, your emotional clock, um, your emotional rhythm. It can help you um, get away from all the impulses, um, the unhealthy impulses that are created as part of society nowadays and help you kind of weed these out and attune to something that's going to be a little bit more fruitful for you. If you find that you're just stuck in a rut or you're in repetitive uh, defense mechanism type of behaviors, defense mechanism behaviors that, you know, compulsive spending, compulsive gambling, compulsive eating, I mean, things that aren't really satisfying you, take some time to just shut it all down, get quiet with yourself, um, either in the silence or play some very, very soft music. 432 Hertz, you can find it on YouTube. And uh, usually they have some very uh, nice um, long uh, pieces that you can just play and have in the background. Um, also some people like the Tibetan chanting music. Um, a lot of those, uh, you know, chants can really kind of send you, uh, set you to more of a, a peaceful vibration, as they say. Um, there's singing bowls music that have a very high pitch kind of an awakening sound to them so perhaps you know um, you know putting on some of that more uh, healing music I, I would have to call it as a healing music and create that calm within your body and create more of a peaceful vibration and tone within yourself um, because that is going to be that's going to create a new memory for you. It's going to create a new experience for you outside of the abuse, outside of the hecticness. And the more you can register your body in this healthful vibration, the more you can attune your body to these peaceful thoughts and peaceful uh, timing of things, uh, peaceful flow of things, um, peaceful image of things. It's going to reset. It's going to fill your body with a, another sort of vibration, um, another sort of energy, if you will. 
And as you do that, your body will be able to store this as a new memory and you'll be able to draw on this for a new reservoir for your present healing and your future healing. Peace and harmony here with you here today. Hope these videos help. Keep calm and enjoy your day. Please share and subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.